श्री किरण रिजुजी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ हर साइंसेस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया a very thought provoking emotive address by him indicating contemporaneous relevance of this august conference most venerable dean chai jones dimbre president abc it is my honor and privilege a moment to be ever cherished to be sharing dice with you a man full of sublimity nobility and his address will ever be etched in my mind for his content and discourse dr khai sovan ratna secretary of state deputy minister royal government of cambodia distinguished dignitaries on and of the dais the tone for me was set when the moment was given to me and what was indicated there i read for benefit of those who are here and those outside in the entire world it carried a message this could not be more impactful and contemporary relevant and a beacon for everyone the message is i quote may those who fight with arms in hands meet with flowers it says it all best wishes and greetings to the 12th general assembly of abcp it is a great honor to welcome you all to new delhi especially since an assembly of abcp is happening here after five decades welcome to bharat home to one sixth of humanity the importance of this gathering assumes significance as the world is passing through a historic and transformational change we gather at the 12th abcp general assembly under the timely theme abcp the buddhist voice of global south friends this coincides with india's growing leadership role amplifying the voices of global south as evidenced by g20 presidency and the voice of global south summit india is committed to representing the concerns of nations with three quarters of the world's population the motto is soothing as bharat as a nation has been guided by the principles of bhagwan buddha this event friends is significant also as we are gathered in the capital of a country where buddhism was born and is spread to diverse corners of the world including all the countries that are members of this prestigious international organization for the noble cause of peace india is the land of bhagwan buddha as appropriately reflected by honorable prime minister narendra modi i quote him we are proud to belong to a nation that has given the word buddha and not yuddha that is word two extremes put in perspective india is committed to ensuring the younger generations across the world learn more about bhagwan buddha and get inspired by his ideals india is proactive be it the development of buddhist circuit boosting connectivity for international travelers to access sites of buddhist heritage or the efforts such as india international center for buddhist culture or the popularization of bhagwan buddha's message world today faces challenges 
that are universal and call for concerted effort, be it the climate change, conflict, terrorism, or poverty. These challenges to humanity are existential and can be addressed by common resolve and collaborative and collective approach. The principles of Bhagavan Buddha are no less than a beacon of hope and light to catalyze convergence of all stakeholders on a, on a common platform. Platforms such as ABCP are important in shaping a common future and directing a positive discourse. The diverse activities of ABCP are a testament and well tested of the proactive engagement of its members. It is heartening and soothing to witness your commitment to promoting mutual understanding and cooperation between nations and societies. The Honorable Minister at length reflected on this. The ABCP's proactive collaboration with international bodies reflects its inclusive and forward looking approach of addressing the challenges faced by the world. I have no doubt this is the only way. This is the only way that can take us to a path of sanity for welfare of humanity. Buddha's timeless wisdom, eternal wisdom woven into the fabric of our world offers a very powerful, harmonious, wholesome, seamless, precious peace, prime need of our times, not only for human beings, but also for living beings. His four noble truths and eightfold path guide us towards inner peace, compassion, and non violence, a transformative roadmap for individuals and nations plagued by conflicts currently. In a world yearning for harmony, and that yearning for harmony is in every heart, we see it with agony and anguish every day. Buddha's light shines brightest. Let us embrace his teachings, build a future where peace prevails. Beyond mere coexistence, Buddha's teachings weave a tapestry of understanding, empathy, and shared well-being. In a world rife with division, his wisdom shines brighter than ever and is needed more seriously than ever. Let us follow the light of tolerance, justice, and a shared commitment to peace, paving the way for a future where all flourish and virtuosity blossoms, sublimity shines. Our shared heritage, woven with faith, culture, and love, forms an unbreakable thread Together as a family united by Buddha, we can illuminate the world with his message of peace. Violence has never generated unity, and peace has never led to divisions. Across the continent, Buddhist istupas stand as silent testaments to Buddha's enduring wisdom. Whispers of Chants and vibrant festivals echo his teachings, reminding us of India's role as the first place and a beacon of non-violence, peace, and compassion for the millennia. This ethos, reflected in our constitution and national emblem, compels us to share his message with the world, just as India has always shared its knowledge and world wisdom over thousands of years. Friends, the Indian Constitution artwork, and that is part of Indian Constitution, reflects 5,000 years of history. I invite your attention particularly to part 5 of the Constitution, where Lord Buddha graces 
द फर्स्ट सरमन द धर्म चक्र पर्वतन दिस इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ अ नेशन दैट इज होम एज आई स्टेटेड टू वन सिक्स ह्यूमनिटी दिस प्लेसमेंट इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट गाइड्स आवर वर्किंग इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट symbolizes the ideals of enlightenment a parliamentary system independent judiciary and balance of power guiding the nation's highest institutions this positioning of buddha and his thought in the indian constitution will secure effective impactful working of all organs of state buddha teachings inspire india service driven governance prioritizing citizen welfare and inclusivity to farmers and the vulnerable to the young this commitment extends to environmental sustainability where the interconnectedness of all life guides india's advocacy for a greener future initiatives such as international solar alliance which is headquartered in india launched by india and mission life reflects our commitment to harnessing sustainable and clean energy for the well being of our planet all these deeply humanity from thought process lord put gautam buddha's message of peace harmony and coexistence stands stark against forces of hate and terror that threaten our world but our hope lives in those who believe in hum- humanity let us converge guided by buddha's wisdom not just a relic of the past but as a compass for the future in an age of ethical uncertainty and imagine ethics has to guide humanity if there is uncertainty uncertainty about ethics violence peace nobility sublimity we are losing our path his teachings so offer a path of sustainability simplicity moderation and reverence for all life all living beings by embracing this interconnectedness we can build a harmonious future with our planet on the occasion of this 12th general assembly let us ignite the embers of buddha teaching for within its light to discover not only personal peace but the power to forge the world united in harmony our prime minister narendra modi ji rightly told buddhism the biggest strength of earth by statement of great consequence let this truth be our banner as we the asian buddhist conference for peace march ever forward in its spirit remember buddha's teachings are not relics of past but a guiding compass for future as technology races ahead is middle path a tapestry of friendship moderation and reverence for all life offers a sustainable path for us and our planet the thought process principles and essence will all the more needed when the world is faced with disruptive technologies therefore let us not merely gather here but proactively champion the buddha's message let our deliberations birth a vigorous program of action echoing his call to be friend one another and work for the betterment of all human we are living in tough times there is intolerance of the other point of view to the extent that no one wants to listen to the other point of view that is a sense to go from let us hear the other point of view no dismiss it outright we can be judgmental after bestowing attention to that point of view may this assembly become a beacon and i am full of hope optimism and confidence it will be one illuminating a path where borders fade and shared understanding reigns may the light of buddha guide us transforming not just ourselves but the very fabric of our world 
together and in tandem let us build a future where peace is not a dream but a shared endeavor for in the spirit of buddha we know that there is no other in a stifling world facing existential challenges a voice of sanity for peace and harmony reflecting time tested wisdom of buddha who certainly emanate from deliberations of this sublime platform it has been indicated by the prime minister of the entire world we are not living in an era of expansion of war and issues need to be deliberated diagnosed and addressed in a spirit of consensus with dialogue and diplomacy i can prove this by what lord buddha told us about to sab mangla which means blessings compassion and welfare for all his excellency had reflected to this in his enormously impactful address on three occasions i leave this place fully energized surcharged motivated and inspired to do my humble might to further the thought process of buddha in whatever capacity i can thank you so much for availing me an opportunity which i would ever cherish